A small ass one. Oh, that's nasty. Worst thing ever. Got him. Oh, nice. Big, big. Here we go. I told you I'd get him. Uh, Alright, you do my, you should do my intro then. I know, I should have. Okay, Thank hold up. Guys. Let me know when you're ready. We're diehard fishing. And this is 90 minute casting battle. <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? Should we do like biggest fish? Most fish? Most. I feel like okay, yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. The biggest is not gonna be like it's too hard to figure out because we don't have a scale or anything. Exactly. Okay. It's too close. Alright. Alright, you guys ready? Wait, should we put a time limit on this? What time is it right now? 1.30. An hour? What? An hour and a half? Three. Yeah, an hour and a half. Alright, we'll do an hour and a half. Most fish in the next 90 minutes. Yeah. Doesn't matter the size. Doesn't matter the touch really it's big. Or, or There's them. eggs at my house. We'll egg the person that loses. Okay, loser has to get pegged by a wrong egg. I'm not in it, so it'll just be you guys sitting each other. What? You're not gonna fish at all? I mean, I will. I guess you can. You wanna do it that way? Yes. Okay. We're in this too. Diehard fishing versus two people. Okay, I'm in. Okay, three way. I thought it was just gonna be two you versus him. So, so what is it then? The last place gets pegged by the other two person? Two yeah. people? Yeah. By eggs? Yeah. 90 minutes, most fish, starts now. I thought we haven't recorded. It is recording. Yeah, it's not even going to look like an amateur now, because I didn't even know it was recording. <laughs> That's fine. I'll edit it. Oh, here's the turtle. It's right here. Oh, it just went back down. All right, guys, we got a little friendly competition going on here with a couple of my cousins, basically three bass noobs out here trying to catch some bass. Neither, none of us really know what we're doing, but I got both of them hooked up with like a little bobber and plastic worm setup, and then I'm fishing a weightless Senko here. Just trying to figure out if we can catch any fisher. And we got all up here too, chasing the geese here. These guys are not bass fishermen. I am not bass fishermen. So this could be interesting. We'll see if we can catch anything here. Oh, guys, guys, there's a bass right here. I can see him in the shallows right here. Let's see if I can sight fish him. Just trolling, patrolling this little area here. I don't know if he's bedding. Like I said, I'm not a bass fisherman, so I have no idea what I'm doing out here. I can see him. You'll see. See him swimming in right there? Literally, like, right there. He's swimming off this way now. Cool. Oh, right there. Yeah, I know. It's sick. Anyway. So, out here right now, uh, we're here at the perk ponds and yeah, I've not caught anything. My mom called it the perk ponds. That's all I know. Okay. Well. Dyer fishing's a little incapacitated right now. Basically, I, I don't even know. We've been out here for 45 minutes. We haven't caught a single thing, let alone had a single bite. So uh, nothing's going quite as planned. What's up, Olaf? It is what it is. I'm hardcore. Oh, well you're, what's going on with your sunglasses? That is not the look. What a weirdo. Got hard fishing, liking so far. Oh, yeah. I never told you the story. Like, I was getting that 
Right? He almost went. He almost ate it. You see it? He's going after it. I'm telling you, he's about to catch this guy. Sorry, keep going with your story. I literally almost threw up. I was like, what the hell is this? I smelled it. I was like, oh, that's nasty. Worst thing ever. Got him. Oh, nice. Here we go. I told you I'd get him. Yeah, I know that. I'm in. Still good for the challenge, though. I gotta, I gotta get, gotta get around these sticks. Four minutes left. Oh, that's a big one, bro. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he just came off. He came off. Oh, dang it. Now he knows. That was the one right there. It was too I don't big. see him anywhere. Oh. Alright, you want to go? Alright guys, so that challenge didn't go too well. Obviously, the three of us, none of us caught anything. And, uh... I kind of thought we would catch some small bass. If you've seen previous videos, uh, me fishing, I've been to that bat, that pond before and I've caught a lot of little bass, like four to six inches. And I thought maybe we'd be able to catch a few more, but unfortunately they just weren't there this time. So anyway, I did have one good fish on and uh, I say good fish, I'm not a bass angler, so it's probably only like, I guess two pounds or so. So maybe not a good fish to some of you bass anglers out there, but for me, I don't know, it just got me thinking and seeing that fish, doing some sight fishing, which uh, kind of got me thinking and I got, I want to go back and try to catch that fish. And I think, like I said, I'm not a bass angler. I think it's on a bed, so I think it's still going to be there. I literally only have like 30 minutes to go fish, but I'm going to go try and catch that fish. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys out at the pond. All right guys, I think we're in luck. Fish I'm looking at is right over my shoulder down here to this side, and uh, it's a little bit harder to see the first day when we're out here. The first part of this video, it was sunny out, so it was a lot easier to see. Today it's a little bit overcast, it's a little bit harder to see, but I don't want to get too close to where I can where I spook the fish, but I'm pretty sure it's there. And I got the same thing set up, just a little wacky rig Senko. Uh, we're gonna see if we can finesse him up here. All right guys, day two, no luck. Day three, let's go get him. All right guys, that fish is definitely still there. You can see him down the bank here, right up on the same spot he was at before. I'm gonna see if I can finesse him up here, see if we can get it done. multiple bass over there. I can see two of them right now. Got him. Let's hang around in some bush. I got him though. Sight fishing at its finest. Okay, now we gotta land him. I got him. Don't jump, don't jump. Oh, there's another one even, even bigger following it. People are probably asking why my drag is so loose and I I think because this water is so clear, these fish are really finicky. So I got six pound tests on my line here. And that's why we're just letting him run as he may. I don't want him to jump because that's how we lost him last time. It's a decent fish. Oh, dude, there's some big ones following him though. Okay, I think I got a good hook set on this time, but you never know, we gotta land this fish. Like I said, six pound test, so you gotta be gentle. No, 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 no. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, look at that. Jump right up on the floor. That is what I'm talking about right there. Not a giant by any means, but this is a quality bass. Probably, I don't know, I'm not a bass angler. Probably say, I'll just guess two pounds, who knows. There's something about just seeing the fish and seeing him bite your bait that just, you can't really match it. Bass fishing is pretty much the only kind of fishing where you can see that. Who's on that bed over there? Like I said, I was, I've been here, this is my third day coming after this one fish. I hooked him once and uh, he came off, but he came back for it today and I was able to land so. <sighs> this is a long time in the making right here. I'm gonna snap a quick pick and we'll let it go. All right, quick release on this guy. There he goes. We did it. So like I said when I was finding that fish, I saw another bass that was even bigger than that one in there. And what I think is happening right now is I think these fish are bedding. And that fish was on a bed right over there. Looks just like this. And uh, I think the one that was falling was the female. I think that was the male. And the female is even bigger. And it was kind of following it when I was fighting it. Kind of checking out what's going on. And uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I think that's what's happening right now. Like I said, no knowledge of bass fishing, so correct me if I'm wrong, but that's my uh, noob assessment of what's going on. There's one thing, I hate losing fish. Two, I don't like posting videos if I didn't even catch anything. So I had to catch that for you guys and for myself. So thank you for tuning, for sticking with me. I'll just show you what I was using here. So a really simple setup. Uh, this is like a little portable, fishing rod, I keep it in the trunk of my car. I have a Toyota Corolla, so I can't be carrying around big old rods. This is just a collapsible little like five foot rod. You don't have to need anything special. Six pound test, and then a little wacky rig Senko. And uh, this is literally the only bait I got out here. So if the fish wasn't gonna eat this, it wasn't gonna eat anything. And now come to think of it, it's definitely the PB bass on this channel. If I can catch it on this guy, you guys can definitely do it as well. So I'll leave this linked in the description below. So I don't think I mentioned it earlier, you probably noticed that I was on crutches in the first part of this video. Now I'm actually walking, but I'm limping around a little bit. I rolled my ankle the other day playing some basketball. So uh, that's one of the, part of the reasons why I'm out here at this pond rather than the beach. Uh, just to shorten the amount of distance I'd be walking around. It's a little bit difficult to walk, but we're getting better. So my ankle's healing and we'll be back out at the beach soon. But thank you guys for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.